Hey, chickens. Good morning. Good morning, my little friends. Where are you going today? Oh, you want some food, do you? Look at that. Yummy lettuce, I'll get you some pellets in a minute. Some good scraps in there too. Running pellets, guys. Yeah. Get some nice fresh water. I know you're gonna knock that over. Get some good water, eh? friends and welcome to Marty's Garden, my little micro farm here where I teach small space gardening, all about veggies, microgreens, worm farming, raising a couple of little chickens and putting it all together and having a lot of fun. And look, I'm slowly becoming more self-sufficient and I'm wondering, is two chickens enough? Well, I believe that it is. And the reason being is when I had the micro farm before up in Byron Bay, what I did was I used them to turn over the compost, same as what they did here. And then I grew my microgreens and baby leaf and different crops for the restaurants. And it made an awesome compost. And here I make it more to sell and I use also on my place. And these guys are absolutely awesome. Two Isa Browns, really placid chickens. And I'm finding that two is the perfect number for my small space because there's only Karen and myself here. And we get, you know, two eggs a day, which is more than what we need. So we're able to give a few away here and there. And they're fresh all the time. And these Isa Browns, because there's only two, when you've got more than that, they sort of spread out and then they're harder to find. And if you want to catch one, one runs this way and one runs that way. So when you've got two together, they just stay together. And that's really cool. And they're easy to catch and sort of herd along then and move along. Also only having two, more likely, well less likely to make a mess. And these Isa Browns I'm finding in my permaculture garden haven't really sort of made too much of a problem and I'm letting them in there now. So I'm really, oh, mozzie or something like that. I'm out early in the morning here and it's sort of like a bit cloudy and mozzie and midgies, little white flies, they sort of bite you. Anyway, getting back to it. So they're easy to round up. Uh, much easier to take care of. Now, one of the problems that I'm thinking of, if one, if something happens to one of the chooks, then they're not going to have a friend around. They're a flock bird. That is a bit of a problem. So I'm really taking good care of these guys, as I would anyway, but just to make sure that nothing happens to one of them because they're really hard to replace at the moment with this whole thing going on. It's almost like wait a month to six weeks to order new chickens in. Now, I'm finding that a lot of my compost, instead of going into the worm farms now, is going to the chickens. And then what I'm doing is I'm actually getting the chicken manure and then feeding it to the worm farms. But I'm going to have to find some more horse or cow manure around and start feeding that to the worm farms as well. So I really think that two chickens on a small space. And if you've got maybe another a bit more area, you could even possibly get a bit of quail like my friend Scott is. That's got the, they gave me these chickens down here. Anyway, it's really just a bit of an update for you guys. Fill you in on why I think just a couple's perfect for me. Maybe perfect for you too. Keep following the vlogs. Got some really cool stuff coming out. Put some worm farms over here at the end of the compost area, which I'm going to talk about in future videos coming up. The whole system's really coming together really, really well. Have a great day. Happy gardening. And we'll see, oh, hang on, music. And we'll see you at the next video real soon. Bye for now.